Hi, in this recording I'll show you how to sign a PDF form which might be a picture or it can be one of the current PDF forms that allow us to fill out text and numbers uh, on a computer. But how to fill out a PDF form on Mac or on a PC with software called GIMP. So GIMP.org would be the home location of this project and then you can download it uh, for free for Mac or for the PC. I happen to have one of those already installed, uh, but now let's go ahead and take our patient uh, on the table here, and we're going to use for that uh, a travel and expense PDF form. Now you might have more interesting forms to fill out, but I'll go ahead and grab this one. Uh, here is a, a form that I need to fill out and then sign. And so normally you would print it, uh, fill out with a pen, scan it back in, and then have extra piece of paper to this card. Let's see how we can do that otherwise all on the computer. I'll go ahead and save this piece first. Now that the form is, that the form is saved, what I need to do is I need to import it into GIMP. So to do that, let's go ahead and uh, locate our GIMP application. We'll start it up here and in a moment we'll be able to import the PDF. All right, I have uh, a few of the toolbars also opened, and we'll go to File, Open, and uh, momentarily we'll have a choice here to uh, select um, my downloads, and let's go ahead and grab this form. Now, GIMP says, okay, would you like to import this? And yes, that's exactly what we want to do. We'll say import. If you have a form which has multiple pages, what you would do is you would import only the page that needs to be signed or filled out. And you can import them one at a time if you have multiple ones. And then later, you can combine uh, these individual PDF pages into one longer PDF document. But here we're working with a single uh, page document. And uh, let's go ahead and make it slightly bigger here. All right, uh, and now how do we fill out regular fields? Well, regular fields will be filled out with uh, the text tool. So I take my text tool and go ahead and select an area, and now I can go ahead and start typing. So you can see that this could be a picture, and in fact, it is a picture file right now that I'm working with, but I can put in uh, say the date, 7, uh, what do we have today, 23, all right, and so I am now filling out the form, and I can make the font smaller so as to fit into these small spaces. Now, how do we put a signature on this form? Well, here's how we would do that. First of all, you need to write your signature on a piece of paper, and then take a picture of it so that you have a hand-drawn signature on file. Now, I'll show you how this is done um, with a picture already created. So, I used the signature uh, in a previous recording. Let's see, here it is. And this particular signature now is a separate file. So, what I need to do is I need to paste this signature into the field. But if I simply selected this whole thing, uh, I would uh, have to decide which sections would show. And so I would be overlapping uh, the signature uh, statement and the line. So it wouldn't look natural. Instead, let's do this. We'll go to Tools, Selection Tools, and let's do Fuzzy Select. Now, with a Fuzzy Select, instead of trying to select all the black lines, we're just going to select the white. Now, I'm really good at selecting the white area in this particular picture. Now all I have to do is go to Select, Invert Selection. See now the only thing that's actually selected are the black lines. Now I'll go to Edit, Copy, and going back to my form, Edit, uh, and then Paste as a layer. Alright, here is my signature. I'm going to grab this layer Oops, I have to change my tool. Uh, let's change my tool to um, 
the move tool. And now we'll go ahead and grab the signature and move it. All right, so that it looks like we did this with the pen. All right, at this point, all I need to do is to export this as a PDF. Now, I have an option here to simply override the existing PDF, or I can go in to export this as a different file so that I can continue to edit this later on. For this moment, I will go ahead and uh, just override it. So if I go to my downloads, I go to select the form, you can see that the text is here, the data is here, and there is the signature. Thank you very much, and uh, if you have a Mac, take a look at my previous video, which shows you how to do the same thing with the preview application uh, without as many steps. Thank you.